the marketplace needs a whole person. We need our youth to be whole, to bring the totality of themselves to the market space. The, the, the skills that um, have been mentioned, that is definitely one. The emotional intelligence is one, uh, is definitely one. Being able to manage lead self, manage stress, time management, all that work ethic is definitely a huge part of it. Absolutely. But for where we are going, and this is why um, just having the unique, you see, let me backtrack a bit and tell a story. I'll back, I'll, I'll, okay, there's so, sorry, there's so many things going on in my head right now. I don't even know where to start with that story, um, TV, but let me let me do this. Let me, let me try and break this elephant down. You see, one thing I've noticed as a trainer is that very many people not only the youth, huh? let me also say that, even the older generation, because they've been training for 20 years, people bring what they call discretionary skills to the table, to the organization. I can choose to solve the problem or I cannot choose to solve the problem. And a lot of that has also got to do with the fact that people don't know their whole. When I say whole, I'm talking about also psychologically, emotionally, Home, such that the person when Susan comes into the work environment she's bringing the totality of herself Susan doesn't have the luxury of removing things had like a jacket hanging it on the doorknob working 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 then when she walks back out she puts it on and goes the same challenges there's a dimension where I'm talking about wholeness the same challenges that you as parents have faced in terms of being able to deal with life issues and life skills are the same challenges that the, your, our children, our youth are facing. And I would therefore then say that as parents, it would be good because I understand that we've gotten into a place of where we're so busy working and we've formed a uh, we formed a, a mental picture of what success should look like, will look like, that we have forgotten how we were when we started working. We've forgotten our youth. We've forgotten um, um, what we needed. And because we've forgotten that and we've had to figure it out, we forget as parents to be the first mentors to our children. We, there's a dimension of where we outsource parenting to the schools. I'm giving them to the school, it's for the teacher to do this, for the teacher to do that, and it's for the teacher to do that. We then also outsourced it to households if we have a, if they're in a position to do that. And I get it, and this is not to bash or build trip upon them anybody. But it's to it's I, what I want, I'm doing in that is pulling us back to see that the first role, me as a corporate trainer, as a coach, as a mentor in the workspace, there's only so much I can do. I'm actually coming in and I'm doing damage control. So the question that I raise up here is how do we begin to actually even literally mentor, educate and prepare our children for life. Yes, we want to give them the best in terms of, um, they don't have to go through the same hardships that we went through, but we forget that it is the, some of those hardships that we went through that have made us the people we are today and we are better able and capable of dealing with issues. So in terms of what are the opportunities and and where are we going? I think the biggest opportunities lies for a person who is able to come to the workplace home in terms of education, in terms and in terms of soft skills. Because that is the person that again will rise um, ahead of um, head and shoulders above everybody else. Then I also want us to take a step back and challenge it us as parents as well 
and flip and put on the next, um, another car. We are the employers, we are the managers. We in this room are the employers, we are the managers. And this child, this youth that has recently been employed is somebody else's youth, somebody else's child. And learning to deal with them in that way. Not looking them as another person, but looking at them as this is my son, this is my daughter. That needs to be molded, that needs to be allowed to fail in a sense. Such that when we go into the workplace as parents, we've also got to see these people, these youth, as ours. This is my child. This is the future of Africa. This is the future of Kenya. I need to upskill this person because they might leave and go and start a Biashara Sama. And then it's my cousin or my nephew's child, my nephew or my niece that will be employed there because of the skills that I poured into. 